to science and literature today we will be completing the chapter classification of plants as we do the second part of the chapter <coughs> today we will be seeing the classification of second part of kingdom plantae second category of kingdom plantae that is phanerogams in the previous video we saw classification of how plants are classified in the category cryptogams and today we will be seeing the classification of phanerogam so let us start phanerogams are classified in two halves two classification two categories phanerogams are just like plants phanerogams also have two classifications the major are gymnosperms and angiosperms with the name gymnosperms and angiosperms we know that gymnosperms means naked seeds that are seeds that are not covered they these plants have no covering on seeds while angiosperms have the seeds covered <coughs> let us see how the classification is done the first is gymnosperms are evergreen perennial aquarium that is in throughout all the seasons of all the time gymnosperms category of plants are green in nature as they are uh, evergreen perennial second is that they don't have branches as their stems while they are just bushy trees the bushes that we see are coming under the category gymnosperms the third point of classification is the male and the female part that is required for the reproduction of plants is present in the same plant one plant has both male as well as the female part that is required for the reproduction of plants the next point of classification is as i told you earlier from the word gymnosperms we know that no natural covering is present on the seeds the word itself that is gymno and sperms gymno means naked sperms means seeds so naked seeds which means that the seeds do not have any kind of natural covering and the last part point in this classification is that gymnosperms do not form fruits the seeds are the last or the flowers are the last formation in gymnosperms and fruits are not <coughs> formed in angiosperms now we go to the second part of the classification angiosperms first part is flowers are the reproductive organs as we saw in this part male and female both parts were present in the plant similarly here flowers are the reproductive organs flowers are the major part because of which reproduction of angiosperms takes place angio word means covered sperms as i told you means seeds which means covered seeds which is the next point of our classification that is angiosperms are covered seeds third point in classification is in this last point was fruits are not formed while here fruits are formed so exactly opposite of gymnosperms is angiosperms and when we talk about seeds in angiosperms there the angiosperms are classified as two types angiosperms are further classified into two categories monocotyledons and dicotyledons mono means single di means two from the word itself we know cotyledons again refer to parts of seeds so if we are talking about monocotyledons we know that there is only a single seed whole seed form while in dicotyledons we will be able to cut the seeds in two halves if we are able to cut the seeds in two half then we know that that plant is a dicotyledon if we are unable to cut the seeds in one or uh, two equal halves then it is a monocotyledon that is all that is there to understand in this chapter on page number 79 that i am showing on the uh, video just now right here is a very important page for you the difference between monocotyledons and dicotyledons is explained and examples are also given so refer to this page to understand more thank you for watching this video for the chapter classification of plants